All right, so for this problem, I have 20x squared plus 7x minus 3. And the main important thing that I'm going to want to do is make sure that's first it's, it's in quadratic form or it's a quadratic equation, which, of course, it is. We can write this as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So once I have it in that form, right, the first thing they want us to do, Wendy, is to be able to find the discriminant. Remember, the discriminant is written as b squared minus 4 times a times c. So to do that, I need to make sure that I know what my a, b, and c are. Well, by following my quadratic equation, I could say a equals 20, b equals 7, and c equals negative 3. Therefore, now let's go and just plug in the values. So we have 7 squared minus 4 times 20 times c, which is negative 3. All right? So now what I can do is just go ahead and simplify, Ricardo. So when I do that, I have 49 minus um, 4 times 20, or 4 times negative 20 is going to be a, uh, well, hold on, let me, let's just do it this way. Let's do <coughs> 20 times uh, negative 3 is going to be, 20 times negative 3 is going to be a negative 60. Negative 60 times a negative 4 is a positive 240. <coughs> do what? Yeah. That's a negative 4. Negative 4 times 20 is negative 80. Negative 80 times negative 3 is a positive 240. So I'm really actually adding 24 plus 240, which would give me 289. So now what I need to do is determine, is that a square number within itself? Is that a number multiplied by another number? Yes? And what is it? So you can look at this, and you can rewrite this as, yes, 17 squared. So since it is a square number, 17 squared, we know that we're going to have two real rational roots. So that was A. Then for B, you had to describe it. So yes, we have two real rational roots. All right? Then the last thing C said to actually evaluate for the, um, for the answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to the quadratic formula. So the only thing we need to add now is opposite of B, plus or minus the square root of your discriminant which we know is um, 289, which I'll just write it back in there, though, again, divided by 2 times a, which is 20. So let's go and plug in our, well, I guess I could plug in my b, too. My b is opposite of b, which is 7. So therefore, I have opposite 7 plus or minus the square root of 289 um, divided by 2 times 20. So let's simplify this again. x equals negative 7 plus or minus 17 divided by 40. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you can do this either separately or you can do this together. I'm going to add the numerators first and then divide. So negative 7 plus 17 is going to be 10. So I have one answer is x equals 10 over 40, which equals 1 fourth. And then, x e and then negative 7 minus negative 17 is negative 24. So x equals a negative 24 over 40 which then you can go ahead and divide by the largest number, which 4 and 4, which would be 6 over 10. Is what? Huh? Well, the largest number that goes into both of them would be 8, right? Because 8 goes into there and there. So therefore, I divide 8 on the top and the bottom, and I get a negative 3 fifths. So those are going to be my two solutions to the equation, which also would be my x-intercepts, my roots, my zeros. Yes? You mean like this? No, I want you to s simplify it to its answer. Huh? Yes, it will not be simplified. Yes. So make sure you simplify it. 